couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson right here on Lickin' Riff in which you're going to learn how to play this awesome two hand tapping exercises. Okay, the basic exercise goes something like this. Right? This is the basic exercise. Now you can elaborate on that rhythmically and melodically. You can play... Okay? You can play a longer bass line. Okay? So we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Now, um, the harmony here is actually a really cool chord. Okay? This is B over E, okay? or uh, more accurately, this is E major 7 add 9. Nice, right? Um, so E major 7 add 9 is, as I said, it's B over E as well. It's 2, 4, 4 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Okay, two, four, four, and strings one, two, and three, with the open six string. Okay. Now there are a few two-handed tapping techniques here. Okay, this is why I really like this riff. Um, the idea here is to keep the chord. Okay, now you can pull off the two. You can hammer it on. So the first thing to do actually is, okay, is this. It's Tapping 7 on the E string, the first string, and then, and then pulling it off, but strumming strings 2 and 3 as you pull it off, okay? Okay, so, okay, use your second or third fingers for it, okay? I'm using my second finger, okay? Just in case I land on a note, okay? If I do 9, pull off to to two and then seven again, then I'm stuck if I'm playing with my forefinger. If I'm playing with the second finger, I can play a bass line with my forefinger. So that's why I'm using my second finger, my middle finger. Okay, so seven, pull off a two. Okay, practice this movement. You pull it off, but you strum strings two and three with it, with the pull off. Okay, you wanna go? Go doesn't really like tapping so much, he, he thinks that it's showing off. So now moving on. Okay, you pull off the seven while strumming the second and third strings. Okay. Now the lick is actually seven pull off to zero. Okay, so you have the four finger off of the second fret. Okay, so, and then you hammer on the two. So it's seven pull off to zero, hammer on to two. Okay, this is the idea. You can also play 7-2-0. Okay? This is also a good idea if, if you like it. Okay, you can alternate between them. Okay, that's the high note tapping. The bass line is 2 slide to 7, pull off to 0. Then you tap the two, okay, with your forefinger. Now you can do four to seven, okay, four to seven. You can do two, four, seven, okay, but then you have to play it earlier. You can play nine to seven, okay. All of those bass notes, all of those bass lines work. Okay, you can play the same thing and practice the bass line. Okay, so uh, start with the bass note. Okay, two, slide to seven, pull off. Okay, or you can just play seven and pull off. Okay, I think, you know, that's a little bit lame to just play the seven. Okay, you can play it as an answer to something. You can play... Okay, you can play it as a second line. But the first line, I, I prefer a slide. Okay, two, seven, zero. And then... Okay, you can do 720 or 207. Okay? And remember to strum the second and third strings as you pull off. So this is the line. And now it's up to you to create variations. Okay? So okay, you can play four to seven. Or just seven. Okay? 
Now, my variation was this. Okay? I played the seven, I pulled it off to zero, strummed the chord, and then strummed the chord with my uh, fingernail again. Okay, I was gonna say finger stop, with my fingernail again. Okay, so I got, and then I hammered on. Okay, so, and then a bass line again. So, okay, okay, you can just do the seven again. You can do nine to seven. Now, if you want to play the long bass line, two, four, seven, okay, after you've been practicing this for a while, it's supposed to come earlier, okay? So, okay, you're supposed to play it immediately after the high line, okay? Two, four, seven. You can also do two, zero, four, zero. Then you can add the nine instead of seven. Okay? You can also do seven and nine on the sixth string. You can do nine slide to seven, you can do seven slide to nine, then pull off. Okay, so. Now, if by mistake you hammer on again on the E string, okay? Hammer on with your second finger and then. You have the four finger free for a solo. Okay, you can do nine, zero, two, seven. Okay, tap the seven. Okay. Okay, and then you can just let it go and immediately slide. Okay, you can also, I wanted to try something. Okay, now you can hammer on, you can tap seven slide to nine on the fifth string. And then you have to, um, you have to strum upwards on the sixth string, but you have to, uh, to let go of the fifth string. So, right, don't strum both of them, just slide, and strum the sixth string while letting the fifth string go without strumming it. This is actually a nice thing to try. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play as many variations as possible just to inspire you a little bit. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next lesson. All right, so uh, go something like this. you all the options excluding this one because again it's 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 too much in my opinion but it's nice it's nice it sounds like a like a double bass solo you can also slide to 12 if you like okay and um, play 7, 9, 12, just like you played 2, 4, 7. So you can do 7, 9, 12, actually. You can do 12, 12 slide to 9. Okay, and then 0. 12 slide to 7. You can tap twice. Yeah, I'm still coming up with ideas. Yeah, you can trap twice. You can do seven, seven, slide to nine, or two, two, and then slide to seven, or four, four. Or you can do you can do a slide from four to nine. Okay, so if you like it, you can do four, nine, seven. Okay, so you have and again, remember to play it immediately.
and enough information for one lesson. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy this.